So the Achilles tendon, an important large tendon situated on the posterior aspect of the uh, ankle and it connects ultimately the calf muscle uh, down to the calcaneus or your heel bone and it's important to understand the position obviously to scan it well. We need to position the patient so that we can dynamically evaluate this area and the calf muscles and certainly we need to be able to position the patient into Aquinas position of their foot if there's a rupture to see the gap size to plan onward management we need to understand the size and breadth of the structure and also be able to optimize our image to get this on the screen as clearly as we can now on ultrasound when we look at these appearances we can see here the bright white uh, mountain that is your calcaneus or your heel bone and your achilles attaching to it and we can see here uh, the retrocalcaneal burst which is sitting deep to the achilles with a normal amount of anechoic or black fluid within it that's a normal amount it's not pathological you can then see the achilles fibers diving down to a satch onto the uh, enthesis and you can see inflammatory changes around this area uh, you can see here uh, the fibers coming down to attach onto the heel bone and be mindful of these darker areas here in the Achilles. This is not pathological. This is an artifact uh, of the fact that the probe is not totally parallel uh, to the structures that it's trying to look at. If we then come up a little bit more proximal, we can start to see the nice uniform appearance of the Achilles tendon with that classic fibrillar pattern that we see within tendon structures on musculoskeletal ultrasound. Top tip here. Always ensure that you've got a nice uniform appearance of the tendon. Uh, that means you're parallel to it. Uh, and if you have one side of the screen that is not uh, the same thickness as another side of the screen, uh, it's likely that you're oblique and it's difficult to then report it accurately. We can see here if we drop the depth a little bit more and even if you've got the option, go to a convex view. You can see the size of the Kager's fat pad uh, and how far proximal this tracks up deep to the Achilles tendon. Uh, you can see a nice cadaveric image there illustrating that. If we come with that a little bit further proximal, you'll start to see there's a large muscle deep to the Kager's fat pad, and this is the flexor hallucis longus muscle that ultimately then changes into tendon or mus has a musculotendinous junction around the back of the ankle. This is the muscle belly now starting to form. It's a large muscle in the posterior calf uh, and tracks up a long way uh, deep to that Achilles as it starts to travel more proximally. And then what we also start to see is the soleus muscle coming off the first few fibers, emerging uh, just off of the Achilles tendon. So you can see them here uh, with the marking on the screen. And then the Kager's fat pad, again, see how proximal that comes up the back of the thigh. And if we go into a short axis view, we can start to see that Achilles will now fan out at the top of the screen. There's the fat pad again, that echogenic appearance looks very different to the soleus. As we come up more proximal, you'll see the fat pad will start to disappear. And this is the muscle fiber of soleus, that distinct difference in its appearance on the screen. You'll see how the Achilles starts to spread out as I scan more proximally here and ultimately will come into the aponeurosis that will certainly cover the whole width of your probe and thins out across the screen here. What we're looking for now at this point is we'll start to see the heads of gastrocnemius appearing. You can see here the small plantaris tendon sitting on the most medial aspects of the Achilles aponeurosis just deep to it and ultimately will sit in between gastroc and soleus as we come up. And then you can start to see as I come up more proximally here, the medial head of gastroc appears and that's the, the earliest muscle that comes on. It comes off earlier than the lateral head of gastroc. And then if we just quickly come back to having a look at the Achilles in short axis coming down, you can see here really big, bright tendon, nice and healthy in the middle of the screen as we come down in a short axis view. You can see a pocket of fluid here deep to it and that's a short axis view again of your retrocalcaneal bursa.